there, it's Debbie here. I've got a mani to put together for you this morning using our myriad of mandalas plate that we did with Manisha M. It is a really cool plate with lots of different features that, well, maybe some of you aren't aware of. So we're gonna show it to you today. We've got a manicure plan that will highlight kind of the different things that it does. We have three different layers, outer ring, middle ring, and your center ring. And we also have backgrounds so that you can really give these mandalas um, a unique dimension. So let's get zoomed in here and um, get this mani started. I'm wearing on my nails Coco and Claire's um, Daylily, which is number five. And I also have on here um, Icy Queen, which is number 24. Um, once the Icy Queen was cured, it has a little bit of a sticky layer on top, which is perfect for applying um, foils, transfer foils, these little guys. So that is what is over top of this one with the Daylily. And it's also over top of Icy Queen a little bit here, just so that they coordinate perfectly. It looks really pretty. So they'll make a nice backdrop for our mandalas. Okay, so I'm going to start with a backdrop, one of these guys just to give our mandala even more dimension, a little bit more color. So number 51 is Bring on the Bubbly. That's the one I'm gonna start with. And I am going to grab my scraper. I'm actually gonna really quickly take my block buffer and prime this a little bit, just to make sure that when I scrape, there aren't um, burrs that are gonna make this scrape really badly. Um, when we manufacture these, they're actually punched, so they can have a little bit of a rough edge. Not great for scraping, but once you prime them, they are beautiful. Okay, so I'm pushing down, making sure that I don't get any voids. Quick little light scrape, roll over top of that guy. And now I'm gonna use the side of my scraper just to clean off any extras. Not that we're gonna have a full coverage with this guy, but okay. And now we're gonna go straight to the nail and we're going to press and hold. And then pull away. And there we've got our first layer of our base. Now let's do a little bit on the inside here so that we've got multiple layers. I'm going to use one of our new holographic polishes, number seven here. So it's not really going to be a full coverage thing. Um, it'll just be like a little hollow glitter in behind there. So push down, give it a scrape, roll over top. Now in this case, not getting the whole thing is not a problem because we're not going to cover this whole nail. So we'll just take our time, get that in place, lay it down there. Now you can see that we've got that little bit of different color in there. It'll sparkle through hopefully. All right, I am using my sticky pad to clean off my stamper. Keep it simple. All right, now the fun part. Now let's pick some of our pretty outsides here, our rings. This is the outer rings. And let's give us a little bit of a better clean so that you can not have to look at it while it's all streaky. Make sure your plate is dry. You don't want anything in there that's going to possibly mix with your polish and, and cause a, a strange lift or um, a patchy lift. All right, so what do we wanna put on the outside ring here? I'm thinking something darker, like, let's go antique luster. So we'll pop our polish on there, make sure you get all the way around. Or once in a while I'll miss a little corner and then you have to start over again. Okay, push down and give it a scrape. Roll nice and lightly over top. Clean off that excess. That's the spot I want, of course. Okay, well hopefully it doesn't transfer. If it does transfer over, you can always remove it after, especially when you're working on top of a gel polish. In this case, you can see there, it's not even going to touch it. So. Take your time getting into place. Get it right where you want it and push. Love that over top of the um, 
bring on the bubbly. It's really pretty. I'm just going to use my tool here. It's a cuticle tool. Just separate that from the skin there a little bit. Because I've got my uh, cuticle oil on there, it doesn't want to stick to the, the cuticles, which is kind of nice. You can just pull it off like that. Almost feels like a cheat. Okay, so now I think for my center or my middle ring, I'm going to do something gold so that it matches with our bring on the bubbly. And get this guy cleaned off here. I think for our center ring, I want to stick with something that's still got that scalloped edge. So let's go with this guy right here. Or bring on the bubbly. Okay, push down. See how much bounce that plate has. Plates just tend to warp. You can't possibly make them thick enough that they would not bend. So it's really important that you push down and that you're working on a very flat surface. That's another thing that um, you have to make sure of. Um, I've seen some people struggle. They're working over top of, oh, a paper towel or they've got um, a towel underneath their, their, um, their mat or even just a towel underneath their plate. And you're really not going to get a perfect scrape if you can't get that guy perfectly flat. Okay, so that's kind of blended right into that outer ring, which is actually really pretty. Okay, let's go with Shiraz, which is going to be a little bit, because it's flat, I think it might show up a bit better. And if not, then we will go to our um, Bring on the Bubbly. Okay, that's looking a little bolder. Oh yeah, I think I like that. Make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Take your time. You want that to be as close to the center as possible. Shake it in there. Give it a press and hold. I said I was going to do my pointer finger, didn't I? <laughs> I don't know. Apparently the pinky wanted to be done. All right. So there's that guy done. Now what I would do with this is pop a um, our shine top coat over top with um, the Coco and Claire. It's just called shine because that's what it does. It's gorgeous. Um, pop a coat over that and cure it for 45 seconds. And then that's not going to go anywhere until I remove it. Give it a buff and take it off. And with the Coco and Claire, if I'm soaking it off, then when I buff and file my free itch to release it and soak in hot water the whole thing will come off actually you know everything so that you can start over again with a new color okay next thing I want to do here is pop something onto this gold nail we've got going on here give it a little bit of visual interest so let's take our number 17 which is Lily Linny loves lavender there's a little bit of a tongue twister for you and we'll use it as our as our outer ring. So this guy right here, same one as we used before. Push down, give that scrape. Oh, I think we can do a little better than that. Let's try that. Oh, it's a little see-through. Let's go again. Okay, give it a quick clean. You always want to make sure that your plate is really clean and dry. If you leave a little little chunks of um, dried polish in there, you can picture that if there's some dried polish in there, the chances of you're getting a, a perfect lift are pretty small. It's going to create a void no matter what you do. Okay, so I applied that in this direction. I'm going to scrape it against and see if we can get a better lift. Much better. Okay, so I'm gonna go straight to the nail. Uh, that one we went from this side, so this one, why don't we go up here? We'll use most of it. And just press and hold. All right. I like it. Okay. 
So, oh, very cool. I love this. Okay, let's do Shiraz as the center ring on the base, on the background here. Something a little darker. And we're really just going to kind of do a play on the, the purple and the gold over top of this super shimmery one. So if you use shimmers as your bases, they're just going to kind of get lost over top of a shimmer. So we'll use kind of all flats here to create something visually fun. Okay, we got that little guy in place. Uh, let's leave the center so that it matches here and then it can be the backdrop for the center one that we put down and maybe we'll try and pick one that's got a little bit more negative space so that it'll show through all right so on the outsides what do we want to use I think we should do something a little bit more with contrast and picking your polishes is sometimes the most challenging thing when you're doing layered stamping because there are so many options it's overwhelming so let's use number 34 which is our angelic white and let's go with let's go with this guy just really kind of delicate and pretty okay push down scrape Roll over top nice and light. Pick up all those details. Oh, a little bit more there. Okay. And then we'll take our time. Get it in place. I don't know if you can hear that, but it has snowed here. It's snowing everywhere. It snowed here like crazy. And everyone around is shoveling their walks this morning. So it's hard to get away from it. And I'm pretty sure the camera's probably picking it up. <laughs> so if you're wondering what the heck is going on, that's what it is. All right, I don't like that at all. Well, let's continue on. <laughs> um, sometimes it's just better to continue on and um, decide to like it or take it off and start over. Um, but sometimes I surprise myself. I continue on, I'm like, oh, I don't really like that. But um, end up loving it in the end. So well, let's just go with it. All right, so what other color are we gonna use here? I think maybe we should put in some gold. So let's use our Bring on the Bubbly, number 51. And let's go something kind of scallopy again here. You can see with this plate that your possibilities are literally endless. You could go all day long and not make the same combination twice if you didn't want to. Get that in there, give it a push. I'm liking the way this is coming together, um, just not with the Manny. I like the Mandala, just not with this set. <laughs> okay, so let's do a dark center um, and let's bring in some of this antique luster like we had on the other one over here. And I wanted to leave as much of that gold showing through, so let's try this guy and see if he leaves a little bit more to sparkle through down oh can you even see no hold on in frame here we go this guy down here you'll see him as soon as I get him lifted Ooh, took a little too long I think and we need the whole thing so we got to make sure that that lift is perfect okay one more time second time's a charm we're probably gonna end up lifting both of these we can decide which one we like best Oh, quick scrape, roll over top. Yeah, you know what? I think I like the one below it better. Got a better lift on it anyway. So let's use it. Okay, make sure I'm in frame here. And take your time. And there we go. Yeah, like really pretty mandala. Just don't know that I love it with this many. Okay, let's put something on this thumb. It's begging for some attention. Begging for some attention. And it's got tons and tons and tons of space on it. So we can probably put a couple 
on here. Okay. I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. We're gonna use our outlines. So let's go, uh, let's go colors. So let's take our Linny Loves Lavender. We'll do that same sort of deal we did last time where we actually apply one direction and scrape the other. Okay. And I'm going to pop this guy up near the top. Go that direction. So we've got our outer ring. And that's just on our background color. Uh, let's take Shiraz and do this ring. I don't know if that's going to be it. Well, yeah, that's pretty good. These are background colors, so I'm not going to worry too much if it's not an actual perfect lift. You're not going to see the whole thing. We are going to get this whole one into the center, though. Just based on where that was placed. There we go. I'll hold it still so you can see. Okay. And now, uh, let's take our H07 and do a center ring. So this is one of our new hollow polishes. But um, it's not going to show a whole bunch. It's just going to give that hollow glow to that center piece. Just like that. Actually, it's really cool just like that. But we're not stopping there. <laughs> let's be real. Okay, so I think I want to use, let's slide this guy up so you can see this one right here. And I'm going to use just bring on the bubbly and we're going to cover this whole thing so that the gold is what's going to shine through here now or really tie it all together more than shine through. And we're going to let everything on underneath shine through. Okay. So hopefully we have gone back far enough. Yes, we have. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to line this up just at that outside ring. And give it a push and then all those other colors are going to peek through and give us that really cool mandala all right clean up those cuticles but let's first go ahead and do something else right here and let's build one from scratch again but we'll use all the same colors um, and let's use, let's not put a background on this one. And then you can see how this will end up being our background. Um, and we'll use bring on the bubbly. Honestly, the ways to use this plate are absolutely endless. I don't want to use this guy. Um, and please, if you're going to be using this plate and, uh, Posting? Oh my goodness, tag us in it. We want to see what you're doing. I always love to see what people come up with. I'm always astounded. I do that. I never thought of that, and I love it. So many things I want to try that I see our customers coming up with that we never even considered. All right. Nice and slow for tops. So we got that nice lift. And I'm going to use most of this, almost touch it to this other guy. You can hear my neighbor out shoveling his walk for his customers. It has snowed like crazy all night long here. Probably where you are too, it seems like the whole, <laughs> whole continent is under snow. Unless you're in Australia or somewhere tropical, I guess. Okay. Uh, let's use, where is my Shiraz? Number 16, that guy right there for our centering. And let's do something a little bolder so that it shows up. This guy. Good scrape. I always love picking up that second one just in case you like it better. 
Um, are we using the whole thing? And this one? Yes, we pretty much are. Mm, I don't like either of these. That one's a little bit wonky. So, use the sticky pad instead of my scraper. Uh, let's clean that off and try it again. Shiraz. I think we'll stick with the Shiraz. I think that's going to look really pretty. Okay. Scrape. Roll over top. I like that one. Oh my goodness, it sounds like he's doing my walk. <laughs> okay. Take your time. You want it to be right in the center. As close as you can. And you've got some working time, so don't panic. Once you get it where you want it, just press it for a second and hold it. Make sure it releases. And there we go. Okay. So, center, let's take our... You know what we're going to do? We're going to take our Linny Loves Lavender, the 17, and do our center. And then we're going to come and put a dot with a dotting tool um, of the gold, just to bring it into the center as well. Okay, push down. Give that guy a scrape. Actually, I like that one. <laughs> Half the time, I end up using the one I wasn't aiming for. Okay, make sure we're in frame here. Nice and slow. Get it where you want it. Kind of a tone on tone thing. That's why I want to come in with a dotting tool. And actually, I have a dotting tool handy. Let's just use this guy. I'm just going to use my silicone tool. Just need something with a point. And then, and then, and then, right in the center, we're going to pop a little dot. There. Just gives it a little bit more dimension. Ooh, that one's fun. I love it. Okay. Well, we got one more we can do. <laughs> Actually, we have two more we could do. We could go over top of this guy, too. Um, but I, I love him the way he is. I think we're just going to leave him like that. But let's put something on our pointer. And I'm going to show you how you can just simply use one of these pretty things to do um, just some detail coming from the back. So let's pop our Protect on, because this one we knew were going to be all over the cuticle. You don't need a heck of a lot. Nice thin coat. Cover up that cuticle just so you don't have to fight with it at clean off. And I'm going to pop a little bit into the well here. All right, now we did a super thin coat, so it's not going to take too long for that to dry off. By the time we get our stamper organized and cleaned off, because I'm making a heck of a mess with it, <laughs> um, we'll be ready to go. So, which one do we want to use? Let's go with this guy right over here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to flip it over so that I've got you right in frame. Let's use this one. Really pretty. Okay, and we are just going to use our Bring on the Bubbly. It's kind of our cohesive, the um, polish that's tying it all together. Okay, push down, scrape. Get all those details. There, now you can see. Okay. And you can see this guy's dark pink now, so he's ready to go. Now just take your time, broken record Debbie, and put that exactly where you want it. 
and push. Something else that looks really cool. You could have, we could have done the um, antique luster underneath this and then put this over top and just kind of done a offset slightly. And it just looks um, three dimensional actually. Where's my phone's ringing? Oh my gosh, stop already. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just a little bit of separation there. Yeah, it's kind of a hot mess. <laughs> All right, but check this out. Just get it started and give it a pull. Boom, clean up done. All right, well, I love this Manny, all except for this one. So here is the beauty of gel polish. I am going to remove it. Nail polish remover, boom. And I'm ready to go again without having to redo my base polish because that's just devastating. Okay. So let's try this again and make sure we use colors that we are actually going to like together. Get this guy cleaned off. Okay. So let's use these guys as inspiration over top. Um, perhaps what we need is something without a back because we've already got a lot going on here. I feel like these are so pretty. So let's use our purples and just create with the one, two, three and make a mandala from scratch, but with no backing, so that this can still shine through and, and kind of be the star of that nail. So let's use our, um, actually let's outline it in the darkest, go with our medium in the center, um, and then our lightest in the, in the middle ring. So if we're going to use, I wanna use Antique Luster, I wanna use Shiraz, and I wanna use Linny Loves Lavender. So let's go this guy, our antique luster as our outside one. Now I want to use something that we haven't used yet. Let's go with this guy. He can be our outside. I actually really like this one too because there's a bunch of openings so those shimmers can shimmer through. Push down. All right, let's go to this side. Give it a push. Just gonna separate that a little bit. See, I like it better already. <laughs> okay. So center ring, let's do the lighter. So that is going to be our Linny Loves Lavender. Which one do we want to put in here? Huh, so many choices. Let's keep something just a little more circular without too much, too, too much going on. Probably going to end up using this one down here because I'm just picturing with all that shimmer that guy is going to be really faint. Hold it over top. Yeah, not even going to see him. So let's go with that guy. The beauty of a clear stamper, you can kind of do a little bit of a test drive before you, before you commit. All right. So now we're going to commit to this guy. Take your time so that he's centered as you can get him. Shake it down there. Give it a little push. All right, and now we'll use our Shiraz as the center. And let's use something. Oh, let's stick Scallopy again. Oh no, we've used that guy. Let's use something different. Can you see me here down at the bottom trying to pick? Get you up into frame there. What do we got? How about this like one that looks like a little flower? It's really cute. Mm, missed part of it. Let's do that again. OK, 
Okay, try that again. Lots to clean up on this one. Want that guy out of there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so take your time. Oh, uh, you know what? Look at that. I don't know, the flower just doesn't go <laughs> after all that. But the beauty is you can abandon it if you don't like the way it looks before you commit to it. Let's use this little guy. Kind of scallopy. Kind of not. Actually, here's a good compromise. That one still kind of looks like a flower. I was drawn to it for some reason. I don't know why, this flowery one. But this looks kind of similar, only a little bit more pointy, maybe a little more appropriate. Not quite so animated looking, perhaps. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, we're close. All right, 15th time is the charm. One more go here. I'm gonna scrape against. Nice light roll. See, I'm pushing that plate down, trying to get that perfect lift. There we go. Get these guys cleaned. And then take our time. Yeah, that's better. I like it. Right in the center. And was able to choose stuff that left enough negative space that you can really see that pretty sparkly nail right through it. Oh, I'm really glad we took that guy off and redid that. That is much more what we were going for. All right, well, hopefully we've given you some ideas here um, on some different things you can do with our, um, actually it's with Manisha, um, Manisha M. Um, this is a collaboration plate we did with her. We also have Manisha's mandalas, which are just larger full coverage mandalas, but um, so many fun things you can do with this plate. So please tag us um, if you're posting with these guys. And we will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.